Are you scared? Are you scared? I'm scared. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm bringing to you this makeup too. It is super fresh, super glowy, super dewy, and it's very spring appropriate. This is actually the same makeup look that I wore in my bombshell hair tutorial featuring Chewbacca. Speaking of Chewbacca, I have Chewbacca in today. Do you guys wanna see a pony tutorial? Let me know, comments below. Anyways, I am really excited because this is kind of like the makeup that I've been gravitating towards a lot lately and I got an overwhelming amount of requests on that video. So obviously I wanted to film it for you. I did switch up a lot of the products so that way I could film a drugstore makeup tutorial because it's been a while since last time I did one. So hopefully you guys appreciate that. It's pretty much the same concept. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you're breathing, click that bell so that way you you guys are notified anytime I upload a new video. I upload new videos every week, twice a week, and you guys don't want to miss out on that. So without further ado, let's do this thing. Before starting off with any makeup look, I definitely recommend hydrating your skin with whatever works for you, whether it's drugs or whether it's high end. Do what works for your skin. Today I'm gonna use this. This is the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating <gasps> It got everywhere. There's a big glob on the table. <gasps> no! Oh, and I can't even put it back in there. What a waste. What a waste. Ah. I, you know what? Hydrate your skin. Don't drop the container. Don't waste product. And now let's move on. Today I'm going to use this guy. This is the Revlon Photo Red Tea Primer. I did use it in a few tutorials a few months back and I just decided to bust her out and use her again. Typically whenever I do do a drugstore makeup look, this is the primer that I gravitate towards. It really helps smooth out my skin and any primer in general is really just going to keep your makeup locked and loaded so that way it doesn't slip and slide or wear off in certain areas like around your nose or your T-zone. Clearly I put too much. There I go wasting product again. Wasting wipes. I'm using this. This is the Milani Keep It Smooth Luxe Lip Treatment in the shade 03 Sugar Smooth. I just love the way that this feels on my lips. We aren't going for a matte lip today, but I always say it's important to hydrate your lips before beginning any makeup look. You don't want crusty dry lips. Guys, I got my claws back on. Do you see me? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, and it's so hard to even just apply lip balm. I have to use like the back of my nail. And I'm putting this lip balm like all over my lip. <laughs> Next up, I'm gonna spray my face with a little bit of the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist with rose water and green tea. I'm gonna shake her up, give my face a little bit of a spray. Oh, this stuff is like so calming and so soothing. Like, I feel so relaxed now. <laughs> Don't inhale it though. <coughs> I'm dying, I'm dying. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not dying. Elf came out with some new brushes. I'm gonna be using this one. This is the number 201. They're so luxe, they're so chic, they're super high quality. So I'm gonna take this baby and I'm going to apply an eyeshadow base to my eyelids. I'm gonna use this one. This is the NYX eyeshadow base. It is in just a nude color and this is going to further mute out my eyelids so that way we have a nice clean base for everything to lay on top of. Now I am gonna focus a little bit more of that eye primer towards the very inner corner because I want this to be the brightest. I really want it to stand out and pop. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with this Bone Color Shadow from the NYX Avant Pop Palette on a Revlon crease brush. And I'm just gonna coat that brush very nicely with product. And I'm just going to dab it in the very inner corner of my eyes. Now that our inner corner is bright, it pops, it stands out, I'm gonna go in with a light brown shade. Again, from the NYX Avant Pop Palette, I'm gonna take it, it's this one right here on a Morphe M433. I tried to use all drugstore brushes in this video, but Morphe M433, it's just a brush that I can't live without. So I'm just gonna pop this on the very outer corner and blending it into that bone colored shadow. For liner today, I'm gonna use this guy. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I'm gonna use it to line my upper lid. I'm 
Liner is done. Now I'm gonna go in with this guy. This is the Stay Proof Waterproof Liner by Milani. And I'm actually gonna use this to tight line my upper lash line. For mascara today, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal and I'm gonna do a thin coat on my upper lashes. So I just popped on some lashes. The lashes I've been loving as of recently are these guys right here. These are the Lash Couture Mink Lashes or Faux Mink Lashes by Kiss in the style Gala. So freaking pretty. Like I said, I've been obsessing over them as of recently. I'm now gonna take a small break from the eyes and move on to the rest of my face. I've already primed. I applied a little bit of the Rose Water by Pixi. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. Just like that. And now I'm going to color correct. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Color Correcting Palette. And I'm gonna take that green shade and I'm just going to pop it in all the areas where I need to hide that redness. So once I have the product placed where I want it, I'm just going to take the opposite end and I'm just going to pat it into the skin. I'm now gonna go in with a little bit of this. This is the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation and I'm gonna apply this all over my face. Using the Revlon brush, I'm just going to apply the foundation where I want it. Then using my e.l.f. blending sponge, I'm just going to blend this out. Moving on to concealer, I'm going in with the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. And I'm just going to place this directly underneath my eyes. What I really love about this, it's gonna brighten underneath my eyes, but it's not super heavy. Now that that's done, I'm gonna set directly underneath my eyes with the Prep Set and Glow Translucent Powder by Milani. To set my entire face, I will be using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 230. To contour my face today, I'm gonna to use these two shades right here. To highlight today, I'm gonna to use this. This is the highlighting powder, the Mega Glow Precious Petals by Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to pop this right here. I'm gonna also pop this highlighter right up in this inner corner. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Bottom Lash Mascara by Pixi. You guys have seen me use it in the past, and I'm just going to coat my lower lashes. For blush, I'm using this by Milani. This is their baked blush in the shade Berry Amore. Using a Revlon blush brush, I'm just going to pop this right up here. To line my lips, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in the shade Purely Nude. For lips, I'm actually gonna mix these two together to make a really pretty pinky nude. And just like that, you guys, that's the end of today's video. If you guys did like it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you guys wanna see more drugstore tutorials. Also, let me know when your prom is in the comments down below. I'm working on something very secretive, so I can't really say, but if you guys have any big events coming up within the next month, two months, let me know exact dates and what it is, so that way maybe, Maybe I can do something a little bit special, but let me know when your prom is because I am working on prom make tutorials. I don't know if I'm gonna do one or if I'm gonna do two. I'm thinking two, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments. And I don't have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces. <laughs>